Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So in today's build, we're actually going to be building in the new world of Copperdale. And this is actually the first ever like thrifting and boba tea like hangout that I'm trying to build. So yeah, this is going to be a thrifty like thrifting and boba tea build basically. It's built on the thrifty lot, so where the original thrifty lot was that Miss Griffey actually built for the high school years pack. So yeah, if I kind of like mess up my words and keep calling it like thrifty, it's because that was the original lot's name. It's not what the lot actually is. It's a thrifty and a boba, I believe it's like a thrifty and boba cafe or something like that. Like the official lot, you know, category or like lot type that it is. But basically, like I said, it's built on the exact same lot that the original Thrifty was built on. And I did change the name. Obviously, you will notice by the title. I didn't want to just call it Thrifty because, I don't know, I feel like that, you know, it was the original lot's name. And obviously, this is a totally different lot. I built my own one. So I kind of didn't want to, like, I guess repurpose or steal that name. So yeah, I tried to come up with a fun name for the build. And yeah, we're building a thrifting and boba tea lot. And I actually really, really like the way this turned out. Now, keep in mind, this is my first ever time building a lot like this. Because obviously it's a new lot type that came with the high school years pack. So yeah, I, I don't know. I was kind of like figuring stuff out as I went. In the video itself, it will seem like everything is coming together really, really quickly. But that's only because I did plan out the build. I planned out, you know, the shape, the layout. I even planned out a lot of, you know, where I wanted the items to go on the interior. And then I bulldozed the lot and did it like, and did everything again, but recorded it. So that's kind of why it might seem like everything is coming together, like, ra like rather quickly. Because I did kind of like build this lot twice. So I already had an idea in my head of, you know where I wanted stuff to be, what I needed to include to make the lot, lot, to make like the lot functional and everything like that. And obviously I also pulled inspiration from like, you know, the original one. So I actually pulled inspiration from the original thrifty lot for that little like at the front of the build, you will notice, I don't think I've done it yet, but you will notice I put like a clothes rack and a little cart and stuff like that outside. And I did pull inspiration from the original build. So from the build that Tonya did. I did pull inspiration from that. And then also the two changing rooms on the interior. I know the original build had two changing rooms as well. That were like separated by doors. In my version obviously I used those really cool new curtains that we got to separate them off. And obviously, you know, the changing rooms aren't really, they don't really serve a purpose. I mean, obviously your sims can go in there and they can change their outfit or like change the sim from like the mirror and stuff like that. But they don't really have a like changing room function as you would have like in real life to, cha to like try on outfits. Because that's just not a gameplay thing. But yeah, I just, I don't know, I like the look of it and I like, you know, that little bit of realism as well. So I decided to include that and yeah, so that's basically what I pulled inspiration from. And then also the whole like build itself was kind of based around having those two rounded bits at the front. Those two rounded like window bits at the front. I don't know what to call it, but those two rounded areas at the front. I kind of like figured those out first and then I built the rest of the shape of that like lot around that. And then also the whole color scheme was actually inspired by a like roof decoration piece thing that we got with the new pack. It's like a really, really cool art deco, I don't know, kind of like roof sculpture thing. I don't think I've put it on the like, I don't think I've put it on the build yet, but it has a bunch of different swatches and it also has these really vibrant, colorful swatches. And I used, in particular, I used one that has this really pretty teal, like teal green swatch. And then I kind of just used that swatch as inspiration for the whole build. So the whole build, all of the windows and doors and stuff are either white or this like really green teal color. Which honestly, I don't know if I would ever use those colors for any other build. It's not a color scheme that... You know, I would usually do in most of my, like, I say in air quotes, normal 
builds but i don't know i just i really like the way it turned out for this one and i wanted this build to have a very fun whimsical kind of you know kind of vibe to it very bright very colorful and just a great scene hangout spot so yeah i figured you know using a bunch of bright colors would be fine for this build i might not do it for like a suburban house but for a fun thrift boba thrifting boba lot it definitely works so yeah i really like the way it turned out and yeah like i said it is in the new world it's on a 20 by 15 lot i didn't use any custom content for this obviously because you know most of my builds are completely custom content free but yeah so there's that little like roof piece thing that i used so i've used that in i believe one or two other builds or it might have just been my high school build that i'm working on but basically, I wanted to use that particular swatch of it. And then I kind of just planned the whole like rest of the build around that. So yeah, that's kind of where my inspiration came from. And then also the roof line for this build was an absolute nightmare to figure out. I obviously, it seems like I did it really, really quickly. But off camera, when I was planning it out, I spent forever trying to figure out, you know, what kind of like roof shape and stuff would work. For art, for like an art deco build, because obviously this is supposed to be inspired by like art deco stuff. And obviously I'm not super familiar with a style like that because we don't have anything like it where I live. And obviously I, I haven't studied architecture and I don't really know much about architecture styles or like the finer points of it. But yeah, so trying to figure out the roof line for this build was, you know, a little bit of a nightmare. Especially since it's such a weird shape and stuff. It's like... It's not a weird shape, it's basically a rectangle, but you know, all of the... It just, it was a nightmare to figure out. At the end of the day, I just ended up going for some flat platform roofs. And then adding in that glass roof at the top as well. But yeah, so we've moved on to the furnishing and you'll notice that I kind of did the whole like... I guess building process a little bit backwards from how I usually do it. So usually I'd go in and I'd you know, detail and, you know, change colors and pick colors and stuff like that as I go. But with this build, I actually went in, I placed down all of the, like, needed furniture and a, a couple of, like, decorations and stuff in, like, that, you know, here and there. But basically, I placed down all of the needed stuff and, you know, all of the big furniture and, like, usable furniture. And then I went back in and I changed, you know, the colors and figured out the color scheme and changing swatches on items and, you know, adding decorations and all of that stuff. I did that, you know, second. And then last, the last thing that I did was actually pick the wallpapers. So throughout the whole build, you'll notice that neither the interior nor the exterior has any wallpapers on it. And I don't know why I did that. If I'm being completely honest, I just, I don't know, I think, you know, having everything be this bright on the interior i it kind of helped to not have any wallpapers to like clash with anything so at the end of the day i could go in and i could plan the wallpaper and pick the wallpaper based around all of the other colors that i've already used and kind of find a wallpaper that works with everything rather than you know picking the wallpaper and then trying to make all of the furniture match that if that makes sense because yes that is something that i do pay attention to when i build so yeah, that's just something that I wanted to mention. And also, like I said, I didn't use any custom content. And the build is up on the gallery if you want to go ahead and download it. All of the download information will be in the description as well as like a gallery download link. And then also my tray, the tray files for this build will be up for channel members. And then in about, I think like three weeks or so, they'll become available for like everyone. But yeah, so that's everything for like download stuff. And I also wanted to mention that I didn't really pack restrict this build at all. I didn't use, you know, just base game or base game in high school years or anything like that. I didn't intentionally pack restrict it. But I did try and keep in mind that I didn't want to use like a ton and a ton of different packs. So I will list in the description, I'll leave a list in the description of every pack that I used and how many items from those packs that I used. So that you can know, for example, I, for example, with this build, I'm going to explain it really quickly. But with this build, I ended up using four expansion, obviously the base game, but four expansion packs. I ended up using three game packs. Two stuff packs and three kits. Now, for example, I used the little campus kit, the decor to the max kit, and the blooming rooms kit. 
So, for example, with the decor to the max kit, if you don't have that kit, I only used two items from that. And the only two items that I used from that kit was a rug upstairs as well as that really big standing lamp from that kit. So, if you don't have that kit, then you'll only be missing two items and they're not even like important items. So, you can easily download the build without having that kit. Same thing with like get to work for example. I only used four items from get to work and the only items I used from that pack was I believe the like soap dispensers in the bathroom, the little like paper towel dispensers in the bathroom as well as two like you know two sale signs like two retail signs that I used on the interior and on the exterior. And they're all decorative stuff. They're all like just purely decorative. Don't really add much to the build apart from a little bit of realism. So if you don't have get to work, then again, you can easily download this build without missing anything super big. With, I also used Eco Lifestyle. And the only things from Eco Lifestyle that I used was the flooring. This wooden like hexagonal flooring. And I can't remember what the other thing was. I believe it was something small and like very easily replaceable if you wanted to. But like I said, you know, I only use like really like very, I guess, easily replaceable stuff. The majority of this build is just high school years. And then I also used a couple of things from Discover University. Mostly the windows, like windows from Discover University and maybe one or two other things, but like very, very little. And then, yeah, the majority of this build is, you know, the big stuff is the new high school years pack. And like I said, windows from Discover University. And then a couple of things from Dream Home Decorator, funnily enough. I used a couple of things from Dream Home Decorator. Again, mostly clutter. The bathroom counters are actually from Dream Home Decorator. And then just a couple of like, I guess like clothing clutter and stuff. And then... Yeah, I used a few things from Spa Day. I only used one thing from Parenthood, but I did include Parenthood on the list because I didn't remove the item. So yeah, I only used one thing from Parenthood and that's the standing mirror that came with that pack. You know, the standing mirror that has the bulbs around it. So I used that once downstairs. So if you don't have Parenthood, then honestly, you could easily download this and not be missing anything. So yeah, those are a couple of the different packs that I used, but I'll leave all of them linked, or not linked, but listed down below in the description and also, you know, how many items I've used. But yeah, safe bet is that if I only use like one or two items from a pack, it's probably something really, really small or something you can easily replace. Like, you know, the eco lifestyle flooring, for example, there are a ton of other floors that could work just as well as this one. I kind of just like the modern look of it and the like geometric look of it. So yeah, it just fit really well with the overall vibe for me. But yeah, like I said, you can easily replace anything that you need to. And yeah, if you have high school years, then the majority of the stuff will be in this build the exact same way as I left it. So yeah, that's just something that I thought I should mention. But also keeping in mind that it's not technically pack restricted. I originally, when I started this, I wanted this build to be in my save file. But once I finished it and I had like a look at the exterior and I had a, and I had like a look at the surrounding area, it's a little bit bright to like it. it it's a little bit bright. It doesn't really, for me personally, it doesn't really fit in the area that it is in. It kind of doesn't really match the overall style of the buildings surrounding it. It's a little bit too... I don't know, I guess it's a little bit too Art Deco and a little bit too colorful and more like modern than the other buildings in the area. So yeah, I, I'm not going to be putting it in my save file. I, re I originally wanted to. I can't speak for some weird reason. But yeah, I originally wanted to put it in my save file. But yeah, it's not going to be in my save. It's just, it's too bright and... Also, it was my, like I said, it was my first attempt at building a thrifty and like, thrift. I keep saying thrifty, but I, it was my first attempt at building a thrift store and like a boba tea shop. So in my mind, I can like, I have another idea for what I want to do and I would rather do that for my save. So yeah, this is just a fun extra one that I thought I would share with you guys and get your thoughts on it because yeah, I really like the way it turned out. It was a lot of 
I did a lot of stuff that was very out of my comfort zone. The color scheme, for example, I usually don't build this colorful and also the whole just art deco style is also very much out of my comfort, like comfort zone. I don't, I'm not really, like I said, super familiar with this art, like not art style, but architecture style. And yeah, it's just, it's very much not something that I do a lot of. So yeah, I still wanted to share it and I really like the way it turned out. So I hope you guys will too. And yeah, it's all play tested. I play tested everything your sims can get everywhere, like upstairs, bathrooms, they can do everything that they would need to do. The boba, ta like the boba station works, all of the clothing racks work, and you know, all of that stuff. So it's a very functional lot as well. I did play test everything. But yeah, so that's just something that I thought I would mention. So save file wise, that this won't be in my save. But I will be doing one for my save, obviously, because you need one. So also, you'll notice that on the gallery, when I uploaded it, I did give it a lot traits. So I gave it the teen hangout lot trait, as well as the student, like the teen hangout one, and then the students hangout one as well. So like the university student one. So in my head, this is a place where, you know, a lot of teenagers will spawn, a lot of university students will spawn. So it's a very like young person hangout if that makes sense which I thought was very fitting for a build like this and a lot like this. So yeah that's just something that I thought I, I should mention and then speaking of save file stuff because I keep getting distracted but the high school that I mentioned earlier I am still working on that. Currently I have about seven and a half hours worth of footage for that. And I'm not even done with it. I'm not even done with the ex with like the interior. Most of the exterior is done, I think. I just need to do a couple of like maybe like minor detailing and you know stuff like that. But all of the functional stuff on the interior is there. They just I kind of basically I did that build where I planned it out in a different world and put in, you know, placeholder items. And then when I got the pack, I went in and I kind of like replaced a lot of my placeholder things with stuff from the pack and you know rearranged a couple of things all of that stuff so I've been doing that and that's taking me forever because I'm obviously also going in and adding in more detail detailing finishing up stuff and all of that stuff so it's taking me a while I have like I said about seven and a half hours worth of footage already and it's not even done so yeah, that build is going to be a monster to edit and it will probably be a super super long build which I do apologize for but it is a very very big lot. So it's built obviously on a 64 by 64 lot and yeah, I, I, I used a lot of the lot. The build itself, the school lot is like the school building is really really big. If you follow me over on Twitter or, or have had a look at my community tab recently then you'll see a couple of like work in progress pictures that I've shared and you know stuff like that. But it's a very very big lot and I used a ton of the space. The build itself is enormous. And luckily though all of the like core items that you need to complete a school day is downstairs. So it's a two story building but all of the like important items that your sims will need to access and need to access like fairly quickly they're all on the first floor so like all of the classrooms there's bathrooms multiple bathrooms the cafeteria everything like that principal's office everything is on the first floor and then the second floor is basically all like hobby and skill related stuff so like libraries gyms music rooms computer rooms you know stuff like that art classrooms everything like that so everything that you would need to build skills or like hang out do hobby stuff all of that, those items are on the second floor, which obviously your sims won't really need to access during a school day. Those are just for like after school stuff. And I do want to say that I am, in my personal gameplay, I am using a mod for like high school, after school stuff, which I will talk about more in the actual high school build or maybe like a separate video because yeah, there's no time in this one to talk to like get into all of that. But basically, my high school is kind of set up for like regular gameplay, like like school day stuff, first floor, second floor is all like, you know, hobby and skill building and after school activities and stuff like that. 
So yeah, it's just basically it's a really big build that's taking me forever and I will probably end up with like a 50 50 minute video or something like that that I will have to voice over and it's just it's been a little bit of like a I'm kind of dreading it because not the actual building or sharing it but just having to do a voiceover that's that long and also the editing I really 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 dislike editing <laughs> it gets very like repetitive to me editing a long video and my ADHD brain just doesn't I just, I don't do well with repetitive stuff. So, yeah, just, it's gonna take me a little bit longer to get that video done, but I am working on it. I just wanted to mention that. I am working on it. I will get it out at some point. <laughs> and then also because after seeing a couple of other simmers, like high school builds, and seeing their amazing creations, I now want to completely scrap that high school and build a totally new one because... Yeah, I built my original one in a more like art deco, modern art deco style. And then now I have a ton of different ideas for totally different style high schools that I want to do. So yeah, it's a little bit of a like a, I don't know why I do it to myself kind of thing. So yeah, just, just a little update that I thought I would share because I know a couple of people are really looking forward to seeing my high school build. And yeah, I just, I thought I should update you guys on that. But we're basically done with this build. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more Sims content, feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. But yeah, like I said, all of the download information and, you know, pack info and all of that stuff will be in the description as usual, as well as my gallery ID and all of that stuff. But I hope you're all having a great day and a great week so far, and I'll talk to you in my very next video. Bye, everyone. River's gonna cry when you're gone